Hi there, welcome to our latest tips and tricks video made to accompany our newsletter. In this video, we'll be looking at how to enhance your analytical capabilities by using analysis attributes with the merge and combine tool in Analyst Notebook. We'll also take a look at how you can optimise your searches by using wildcards in iBase. Finally, we will demonstrate how to set up an iBase field so it can be charted as an attribute. We hope you enjoy the video. Let's begin with Analyst Notebook. On this chart, we have account entities with transaction links. We have the amount of money stored on the link label, and we have arrows to show the flow of transaction. We also have multiple links between accounts. This means there is a link per transaction I'm going to edit the item properties of a link by right mouse clicking. We have date and time stored in the date and time properties of the transaction links as well. Right mouse click on any entity or link and choose edit item properties to view its analysis attribute. I'm going to choose this account down here. Under item properties, there is a section for analysis attributes. Let's take a look. These are the analysis attributes populated for this particular entity. As an example, I'm going to select entity sum link flow. A value has been populated here for us. And at the bottom, there is a definition of what this analysis attribute does. So effectively, this is calculating the balance for us for this particular bank account. I'm going to choose Entity Links. It gives us a value here. And this is the number of links to other entities, regardless of its direction. Let's also take a look at the analysis attributes available for this link here. One example is connection sum links. This will add up the numeric link label value on all links between two connected entities, between these two accounts here, for example. Analysis attribute values can be added as attributes. Here are a couple of examples of how you can use them to help you achieve your tasks. Let's focus on financial data. We'd like to add the balance of accounts as attributes. In order to do this, the links will need to contain amounts and these must be stored on the link label. Heading over to the Analyze tab, on the far right hand side, we have the Merge and Combine tool. Let's select it. Within the list, we have the option to combine attributes. In here, we choose the analysis attribute that we want to use. In this case, we're going to be using entity sum link flow. We're going to paste the value of this analysis attribute onto an attribute available in the software. As an example, I'm going to choose the sterling amount attribute. Alternatively, you can create your own attributes in Analyst Notebook. For paste behaviour, we will select pasted value. OK. Now we can see the sterling amount attributes have been added to our account entities. Let's take a closer look. I'm going to edit the item properties of this account. And this time I'm going to attributes, which are user added. And here is our sterling amount attribute containing the value populated by the analysis attribute entity sum link flow, which has given us the balance of this account. In this example, we have used a conditional format specification. Conditional formatting is available under the style tab. This specification is titled Use Country Flags for Telephones with Calling Codes. We've used it to change our telephone entity types to country names, which appear as flag icons. 
there's an analysis attribute available for the entity type. In this example, the value is United Kingdom. We would like to use this value and store it as an attribute on our icons. Similarly to before, we will head over to the Analyze tab and select our Merge and Combine tool. Let's combine attributes. To begin with, we're going to find our analysis attribute called Entity Type. We will paste the value of this analysis attribute onto an attribute called Country. Our paste behaviour will be pasted value. Press OK. This has populated country attributes containing the entity type value for us. Additionally, you can use analysis attributes and attributes in various searching and analytical tools across the software. Let's move on to look at iBase. 